Technology has always affected business. You know, um, there's always been some sort of disruption. You know, so whether it goes back to, you know, the the car disrupting the horse and buggy. You know, so uh, you know, I think what's happening now is just the the speed of change, and um, businesses being nimble uh, nimble enough and forward thinking enough to adapt to change quickly. You know, so it's almost you know having that ability to to live around the corner and pay attention to emerging technologies. We do more investing in entrepreneurs than we invest in startups. So, you know, so it always starts with, you know, who are we investing in? You know, um, then, then what's the idea? What's the size of the market? And, um, you know, and then we ask everything from customer acquisition strategy and whether this entrepreneur has the wherewithal to, you know, to be able to go to distance. You know, so, uh, so we're, we're always looking to invest in the entrepreneur over, over the actual business. When you're building a company, you know, they're, they're al there's always going to be copycats. There are always going to be competitors. There are, there are always going to be somebody who, um, who can do the business just as good as you or, or sometimes better than you. But you know, when you think about it from a brand standpoint and being able to build, you know, uh, whether it's personality, whether it's the authenticity, uh, whether it's you know what Zappos was able to do to customer customer service, you know, there's a, a lot of people out there selling shoes online, but there's only one Zappos, you know. So I think um, you know, and when you look at the CEO and founder, you know, those guys live and die by the brand and what the brand stands for. So. Um, there are many examples how you know how how important it is for brand building, um, just and that's just as important as the product itself.